This is one of my favorite overlooks on the Blue Ridge Parkway here in North Carolina, just outside of Boone. It is absolutely phenomenal. Great overlook here. But how we got to Boone, North Carolina, well, I'll be honest with you, it was sort of an accident. This video wasn't supposed to begin on the Blue Ridge Parkway. In fact, we weren't even planning on visiting the Blue Ridge Parkway. And you might find that hard to believe if you've been watching our channel for a while. Anyway, Carolyn and I plan to visit White Top Mountain, Virginia's second highest mountain, and maybe even visit Mount Rogers, Virginia's highest mountain. We've lived in Virginia for over four years, and we've never visited Virginia's highest peak. And we've made videos all over the state of Virginia, but no, we've never been to Mount Rogers, which should be an iconic location and a great place for making a YouTube video, but it's not. You can't drive to Virginia's highest peak, it's hiking only. And I hike, I enjoy hiking. But when it comes to Mount Rogers, it's a little more complicated. Sure, there's an argument to be made when it comes to building roads and its environment, environmental impact. But Mount Rogers being a hiking only mountain for the environment and preservation is more like a brand and not the clearest reflection of its history. You'll probably never hear anyone else say this on YouTube, but in some ways it's almost tragic how Mount Rogers became a hiking only mountain. I want to make a video about the complicated history of Mount Rogers. The research for that video is complete, all it needs is the script, and I need to capture video on Mount Rogers, and I've been trying to get that done for about two years. The real reason Carolyn and I haven't visited Mount Rogers isn't because of the hike, it's because it doesn't look that interesting. Now, White Top Mountain is the highest mountain in Virginia that you can drive on, but it's a gravel road and not well maintained. And of course, what makes it worse is that it wasn't supposed to rain and it's raining. So yeah, there's that. And that doesn't help matters because there's some amazing views up here that are obstructed by clouds. And so I can't really video them. Yeah, we gotta make different plans. to be completely honest, it's been a tough year so far when it comes to making videos for the channel. Personally, that's not necessarily a terrible thing. We're extremely busy in the real world. Making videos in 2020 and 2021 was complicated and limiting, but making videos in 2022 is complicated in a completely different way. Gas prices are terrible, and when your pre-planned location gets rained out, it's not as easy as it was back in 2020 just to alter your plans and drive out a couple of tanks of gas to get to a different location. Every penny counts. So what were we supposed to do? Right when we were thinking all was lost, I saw a sign that read Boone 43 miles. Now we've covered a little bit of Boone on this channel, but what if we made a video just about Boone, North Carolina? That's it. We'll check out some of Boone's famous southern ski slopes. Yes, it's not really the best time of year for a ski slope video, but when life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. So we headed to Boone, North Carolina to turn this adventure around. Named after the famous pioneer Daniel Boone, Boone is located in Watuga County, North Carolina. At a glance, Boone's a cozy little Appalachian mountain town with a big town attitude. It comes across as a charming mountain town like Bryson City or Cherokee, North Carolina, but Boone has an exclusive side to it as well. Boone is home to Appalachian State University, and you can't throw a rock without hitting a cabin here.
Cheryl and I decided to visit two ski resorts, Sugar Mountain and Beach Mountain. With an elevation of 5,506 feet, Beach Mountain is the highest town east of the Mississippi. The elevation of Sugar Mountain is 5,236 feet. So these are some pretty tall mountains for the Appalachians. Between these two mountains, I should capture some amazing video. But there was a problem. The main attractions on both mountains were closed until Memorial Day, and the views were few and far between. By the time we drove up and down both mountains, we were tired, hungry, and kind of disappointed. There just wasn't much of a story to tell. We booked a room and decided to head back early in the morning so we could get back in time to continue our normal schedule. But that morning, Carolyn had a better idea. <laughs> Let's jump on the parkway and take it back to Virginia. And that was an amazing idea because the views were fantastic and it made the trip worth it. in a world and in a particular time in which it's easy to get dragged down by circumstances, frustration, and disappointment. And let's be honest, people make money off our anger, frustration, and disappointment in circumstances. As a matter of fact, if you're not careful, you'll feed your brain more negative things than positive things, and before you know it, you're feeling depressed and you're not even sure why. Not to be too cliche, but there's an art to making lemonade out of lemons, especially if you're like me and don't really like lemonade. But that's not my point. My point is that when your plans fail, get on the Blue Ridge Parkway. Okay, wait, that's not exactly what I'm trying to say. Okay, well, it worked for this video. What I'm trying to say is to take the high road. It makes all the difference in the world. You know, obviously, I'm going to say that there's no bad time to be on the Blue Ridge Parkway. But I gotta admit, right here before you know the summer holidays, when everything's out in bloom, it's very green up here and warm. This is a great time to be here. There's nobody out here. You know, we pass like one or two cars every now and then. It's just a great time to be on the parkway. As if there's a bad time to be on the Blue Ridge Parkway, especially in North Carolina. Everything is blooming, it's warm, gorgeous day. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you'll take the time to leave a comment. Make sure you're subscribed and click the bell for notifications. If you like this video, I know you'll like one of these videos too. My name is Bill Marion and this is A Nose for Life.